Where did we leave off last? Hey, there she is. Oh yeah, I bought a new car. Okay, I know you're probably asking why the hell did I buy another car? I haven't done anything with a Z yet. And you're totally right, I haven't. However, this I'm not gonna keep. I actually bought it to flip and it is a 2005 G35X. It's really, really clean inside and out. Uh, has a few issues here and there, obviously being a 2005. Interior is pretty clean, seat's pretty ripped, door panels are kind of eh, but overall it's a really good condition car, paint's in great condition. Um, recently redid the brakes, clean up the headlights, polish them up with a Cerakote ceramic headlight restoration kit, worked out really good. Give it a good detail, listed it for sale, and then hopefully I should make some money to go towards the uh, Z, which not a whole lot of progress has been happening on lately. Um, it's been cold on and off, winter. Uh, snow, it's not motivated to be out here a whole lot. So uh, when I can, I get around to working on stuff here in the engine bay. I have a vacuum leak that I'm trying to hunt down. I can't figure out where it's at. I've been replacing a bunch of these vacuum lines with silicone hoses, capping things off, just trying to figure out where it's coming from and why I have this kind of chasing idle. Not a big deal. L28 is gonna get pulled, but I have been trying to fix it up for the time being. So pulled apart, rebuilt the whole distributor, Got it flipped around 180 degrees to get the spark plug wires in the correct orientation now. It looks way, way better. Brand new NGK coil. Took apart the AFM, cleaned it all out again. I've taken a handful of parts and put them in the old chem dip to get them looking pretty. And it does such a good, wonderful job. I think that's kind of it since last video. Like I said, the vacuum leak is definitely an issue I'm trying to figure out. However, it does run okay. Transmission hates life. I think that's leaking pretty good down here. Drip pan's got some fluid. Yay. But whatever. L28 is going to get pulled. Um, before we talk about the new motor, let's talk about some parts I've been working on. So, first and foremost, uh, for some reason, this car only had one rear view mirror when I bought it. It was just on the driver's side. Passenger side doesn't even have holes. I don't know why. And it was this hideous thing. I think the style is just disgusting. It was barely hanging on. It fell off. So I started working on my own custom 3D printed, mostly just a test fit. I'll get them made out of something else. But this is version one. Version two was in the ballpark. And then here is version three, which looks way, way better. Fits really good. Just barely hanging on just for test purposes. But the thing looks really good. Obviously, I don't have a mirror in there yet. I just wanted to get the shape right before I work on the internals of it. Still work in progress. And then I've also been working on a rear spoiler for it too. So, version one, way too small to know. Two, not quite. Another failure and another failure, but we, we're getting a little bit closer each time. So, this is where I'm at so far. Obviously, I sort of kind of in the center just to get an idea of the fitment and the angle of everything, but I think I'm really happy with where we're at on this one. The angle, the kickback looks really good. The height, I'm really happy with. It goes just the right amount, it has a little notch for the popper, and then it should end right here. I could grab a little 3D render just to get an idea of what it actually will look like finished. Um, I am printing the other two pieces for this side right now so i can get a better idea before i go ahead and print the whole other side i did receive a whole box of body panels for this which actually include brand new headlight buckets not new just another replacements which i'll need and has the lower air dam valance so i don't need these as well but i do need the center so luckily that should have it in there we can get that fitted up make the front end look a little bit more complete still missing a bumper and a lower grill but it's a work in progress um, so we talked about pulling the L28 and swapping in a new motor. Uh, for a while I was having a hard time deciding on what I was gonna do. I would really, if money was no concern, I would do a dual overhead cam cylinder head on the L28, you know, get that cross flow with individual throttle bodies. However, we're looking at like 15 plus thousand dollars to even consider going that route. And honestly, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for a power output. Now, a couple people have guessed I was gonna go a route with the RB series motor, and that would make sense if I was gonna go turbo. However, I want a naturally aspirated Z, so RBs are pretty underwhelming when they're non-turbo, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for power either. A naturally aspirated RB25 with a manual transmission is at least $3,000 these days, and um, 
you know, power output is still gonna be sub 200 horsepower. It's not very impressive. So I've decided on going with a VQ. Uh, that kind of depends on what I end up getting a good deal on. I'm not set on going with 35DE HR or VQ37. Um, I think dollar to performance, 37 is pretty hard to beat and there's a lot of them on the road. However, I really need to find one with a manual transmission. I have been searching high and low Copar, eBay to try and come across a good deal. Uh, the only way to make it really affordable is if you buy a whole car so I can get the entire wiring harness, gas pedal, ECU, and everything that I could possibly need included. Um, and I just haven't come across a deal on one. So we're just kind of being patient, waiting until one of those pops up. However, who knows how long that's going to take. So that being said, I guess I'm stuck with the L28 for the time being, which is why I've put a little bit of effort into making it look nicer and running a little bit better. However, it's not like it's my daily driver. Uh, if anything, I've been driving the G35 a lot more than this, but hopefully that will be gone very, very soon. It's listed for sale. So got a couple offers, nothing that I'm crazy about, but who knows, uh, an offer to come in later today and it'll be gone. So filming just ends up really dragging out productivity in the garage and makes everything go a lot slower. So I end up not filming everything, but uh, hopefully I get a little bit better about it and get some more content out but that's going to be a wrap for today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.